just south of Denver, Colorado, bordering the picturesque landscape of Colorado Springs, is the city of Fountain. Fountain is home to the Fort Carson Military Base and Fountain Fort Carson High School. Here, students struggle with more than just homework and the SATs. The things that stand out are obviously that 50% of our kids have a parent in the military. Our kids have a much different um, role than most traditional high school students. These kids come from out of state, they get um, their parents are moved here to Fort Carson, and then those kids have to immediately adjust. They are very resilient though. In a lot of cases, there are younger kids in the families. We have some high school students that actually attend parent-teacher conferences as their parents are away. So they're forced to assume a more mature role. The soldiers who are out in uh, Afghanistan or Iraq or other any other combat zones should feel very proud that their kids, although they're under a lot of stress, they should feel very good about the fact that their kids are presenting themselves with a lot of dignity. Dignity is something Brody Pygott and his father Donald know plenty about. Brody is a senior at Fountain Fort Carson High School. He is a starting offensive tackle and defensive end for the Trojans. His father Donald is a sergeant in the U.S. Army and is currently deployed in Iraq. This is the first season Donald will be unable to watch his son play football. This is going to be a huge adjustment for Brody. Brody's dad was a, was a great high school football player himself, and, you know, his, his heart is with us every day that we're out here, but physically, you know, he can't be with us. And that's going to weigh heavy on Brody's mind. As we get ready to strap the helmet up on Friday night, you know, there'll be one part of the Pygott family in the stands, and that'll be his mother, Kathy. And his dad's heart will be there, but certainly in physical presence, he won't be there. Like before the games, I always spot my mom and dad out, you know, just so I'll see where they are. And it'd be different to see my mom up there, but I know she'll still be there. Brody's mother is, uh, she's the glue to the seams in that family. She's really the catalyst of that family. And she has a way of just, you know, kind of making everything smooth out. Just a very heartwarming lady that understands the needs of her son and what she needs to do to allow him to be successful. And right now, it is to be constant in his life, to be that constant person for him day in and day out. That's just our job. That, that's just part of our job. And if you're not in this world, you don't understand it. I mean, we don't, Donald doesn't have a nine to five job or, you know, it's Friday night, I'm going to watch my son, you know. It's just part of the job. And my part is to be a mother and to be Donald to some extent. I cry all the way to the game because he's missing it. I do. I noticed uh, going up to the first game, I noticed everything was louder to me. It's like I wanted Donald to hear it. The pads, the hitting, just, just everything. It's like I wanted him to hear it, so my, my hearing just got so much. I wanted to just, you know, Brody got two sacks. <laughs> and uh, I just, God, I just, I wanted to give that to Donald. Donald surprised his family by returning home two weeks ahead of schedule, allowing him to attend the last two games of the season. This is the first time since he was nine years old that the very first day of practice, I knew he was practicing from Iraq, and I said, this is the first time I've ever missed day one since he was nine years old. The number one thing I miss is um, being able to talk to him after the game, before the game. You know, if he asks me questions, if he asks, you know, my opinion, you know, I'm just not able to do that this year. And uh, since I've been home, the only thing he's asked was, how do, how do we look today, Dad? What do you think of that new offense? Every play that Brody makes, I'm thinking of his dad. 
that he's missing it, but he's home for two. And this is it. I mean, Brody's a senior, and we're never going to get this back.